So a short video to go with the X Goody global positioning system. Um, there is the manual. Now this is a, a GPS sat nav, which on the description is described for a truck, but can be used for any vehicle really. And you've got different profiles where you can use it in multiple vehicles. Here is the screen itself. As you can see there, it is a large screen. In fact, it's nine inches wide. So we'd be really good uh, for a big car. Um, I've got a fairly decent sized car, so it fits on top of there quite nicely. Uh, but it is a large screen. Um, but it is in terms of the screen size, it's really nice to have such a decent size screen. So what you're looking there at the moment, that's the main menu when you first switch it on. There is the on and off button. Um, you get a number of different things within the box as well. You get a bag that to, to, to case the, um, the main screen in, which is obviously really good. Nice velvet bag there, keep it safe. This uh, device is for the uh, the suction mount. You can put that on the dashboard there. That will stick to the dashboard, and then the suction mount on the back of the screen will will stick to that. Um, power cable, standard 12 volt one, which is which is great, and then a USB cable for hooking up to the PC if you if you need to, because this thing holds multimedia, music, games, etc. Um, it's got an eight gig um, internal storage. Uh, and then you can also add in on the side. I think we can just see it around there. Nope, sorry, not that side. I think it's this side. Yeah, where well, you can see it there. Um, you can add a little SD card in there, up to 32 gigabytes of storage, which means it then has plenty for music and multimedia as well. So what you can see here at the moment is the main screen, like I said. Um, and this is the main menu, so you've got uh, you've got your settings, your tools, your photos that you want to put on here as well. You've got your music, your multimedia, games. Uh, you can put movies on there as well. Obviously, if you've got the 32 gig SD card in there. Uh, but the main crux of this, obviously, is the navigation. Um, so just easily click that. It's very, very quick between pages. As I said, the menu is is very easy to use. There's so many different um, options here you know it take you through to different uh, settings you can set up user profiles for each individual person so if you're swapping this between cars which is very easy to do um, it really is a uh, it really is a, a good uh, a good unit to to be able to do that uh, but as I said um, I'm just pressing the um, to bring it back to the main menu there uh, but as I said yeah it, it's uh, it's very responsive to the GPS. As soon as you switch it on, it, it's connecting straight away, um, and it's uh, the guidance is good. Uh, the, the voice is clear. It, it's quick. It gives you the you know what lane you need to be in and stuff like that. So it is a very very comprehensive set for the price that you'll pay for it as well. I mean, obviously you can pay a lot of money for for these types of things. This one is good value um, if you're in the market for a GPS that has um, a large screen. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's, it has to be noted that the screen is nine inch uh, and you need the room in the, in the car if you've got a car. If you've got a truck, no problem, this will go anywhere. But if you're in a car, you need to think about the, uh, the, the size of the screen and where you would put it. But if you've got the room for it, then it's absolutely ideal. Really is a good set. Um, and I'm looking forward to using this uh, more and more uh, in the future. All in all, a really nice product and good value.